Gotham City is so sad, you know? And I don't mean like it's it's scary or it's gothic or it's dark, like it's just sad. Whenever I hear what's happening in that city, I just feel sad for everyone involved, you know? Not to be totally fair, I'm not like completely caught up on everything that's happening right now or like in the totality of Gotham, but like I know enough. I've been reading comics about Gotham for like most of my life now. And for the most part, it sounds just terrible. One really big joke among comic fans is, why does anyone want to live in Gotham, you know? And I like think about that sometimes. And of course there is like the meta reason of like, well, there needs to be people in Gotham because it's a city and like there needs to be a story and everything. But at the same time, I think about like the in-universe reason why there's no, no people inside there. It's been like shown several times that Gotham has a very big class problem, that there's a big disparity between the rich and the poor. And there are like really, really rich people and really, really poor people. And I keep thinking like, what if the reason why people stay there is because they can't afford to move anywhere else? Like the really, really poor people who live in Gotham, they don't have the money to like move to a better neighborhood. They might like want to move to like Metropolis, but like, have you seen Metropolis? It looks it looks expensive to live in, like very expensive to live in. So maybe maybe they're just like trapped there, right? They're like, they're forced to live in this city. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's fine. Maybe like people who, who live there want to be there. But at the same time, I keep thinking about that. Like what if some people don't want to be there but can afford to be anywhere else? So they're just trapped in Gotham. And I think about like the, the villains too. Like, of course, that's another big joke among comic fans that like, Arkham Asylum is basically a revolving door. But at the same time, so many people in that asylum are like, not everyone, obviously. I think some of them are like beyond medical help, but there are people who do need medical help there, right? People who clearly need some attention and they're not getting it at all. If anything, the asylum seems more like a prison. It's like meant to trap them there for a small while. The entire point of Gotham Asylum is for rehabilitation so that these people can someday re-enter society but for some of them that's like not even an option is it? Think like Clayface or Killer Croc or even Poison Ivy. Like how are they supposed to just re-enter society after a while? They, they can't, right? I mean look at them. I feel like society would never accept them as they are. They'd be seen as freaks and always pushed away. You know, like, how is Killer Croc supposed to get a job? And what job, even? At that point, the only way possible for him to survive is crime, I guess. Because there is no other option for him. And, like, I'm not trying to say that, like, every villain in Gotham is, like, misunderstood and they're, like, actually good people who were corrupted by society. Like, no. Like, obviously some of them are, like, just bad people who chose this life for themselves. I mean, obviously. Like, Poison Ivy, as much as she is, like, a mutant, she did choose to be an eco-terrorist. No one forced her to. But, like, at the same time, it is hard to not acknowledge that Gotham as a city does seem to not even want to help them if they wanted to become better people. They're, like, stuck in these roles, I guess. And then there's, like... Bruce, and I think he's a very complex person, I mean, obviously. There's been like, what, almost a century of stories about him? Like, obviously he has like, many layers to him. I feel like many people like him a lot because they see him as like, as like this dark and brooding person. Kind of like an outlet for like, for like, people who enjoy like, that type of like, dark and gritty thing but again i think he's just a very like broken person and the way he copes with that trauma of losing his parents is through being batman now now to be clear i don't think that like bruce could make a better difference as bruce than as batman like i don't think that, that like oh he could use his money to like make the city better like no obviously the problems in gotham are far more widespread than just money obviously gotham needs batman and on some level i do think that bruce does need batman too for his own mental state but does he want batman does that make sense 
like he might need it to cope but if it were up to him if he could choose to like do whatever he wanted with, with, with like his life like be happy and start a family or do anything else and know that like gotham would be safe would he want to be batman or is it like due to his own trauma and due to the city needing his help he's kind of forced to be batman in many instances and this lifestyle doesn't seem to be like helping him a lot either like of course it helps him like cope with some things but just cope never really heal from it i think a very fascinating um relationship seen in like dc comics is batman and, and nightwing now dick seems to like have actually healed from his trauma of seeing his parents die and be a better person and like be a complete and better and more a well-functioning person and even after that he still he still wants to be nightwing because he wants to help people but it's pretty clear that like batman hasn't healed yet and like i just keep thinking like if if bruce ever were to get to that point that dick is where he is a more happy person and can put his past behind him would he choose to be batman too like nightwing did or would he give it up completely to do something else i don't know to me it just it just seems like he's very trapped in this world for himself that of course he chose but at the same time he's trapped in it and he doesn't seem to be able to like escape it anytime soon so yeah that's about it i don't know like gotham just seems like a city that like everyone is like trapped into roles that they might need to do but they don't want to if they could and i don't know i think that's kind of sad anyways i'm done peace